Hello and welcome to another vlog. Some productivity happened. So, without further rambling, let's get on to some miniatures. First up, here's a Cthulhu Wars flying polyp. Quite pleased with this one. Went for a kind of fleshy, uh, almost tumorous look to the um, tumorous looking flesh. And I looked at uh, frog's eyes and goat's eyes and um, various reptile eyes before settling on the unsettling design for these eyes, which I'm quite pleased with. Uh, let's see if I can zoom for a nice close-up of the detail on that. There we go. Uh, lighting not helping me, but uh, yeah, quite pleased with these eyes. Came out rather nicely, if I don't say so myself. Go. That's the uh, more at the front there. Or, or the. Does this really have a front or a, a back or a side? It. This is the more. So to me, that would be the front. But um, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's zoom out again. Uh, my lighting seems to be particularly terrible today. Uh, up next. This is a cloaker from the official D&D &D range, or was it the official Pathfinder range? I can't remember which, produced by WizKids. And to me, this doesn't look enough like a cloaker, so I have painted it to look like some kind of demon, which I have um, in my head called a Manta Demon due to its resemblance to a Manta Ray type creature. Quite pleased with that. Um, not really much to say about it. It's, it's a nice mini and it painted up well for what it is. That will be um, featuring some kind of flying demon in my future games. Continuing with the demonic theme, here's two Reaper Bones Hellhounds, which the camera does not want to quite stay focused on properly. Um, did a little bit of conversion work on this one. Just a repositioning of the head for a slightly different pose, just so I've got a bit of variety. Oh, look at, look at that terrible focus. Is that better? That might be worse. This is so difficult to get to stay focused on. I have no idea if they're going to stay in focus. Does that look focused to you? The lighting is not helping. Uh, focus is not going well on these guys. Uh, can I... Uh, uh, maybe I'll have some salvageable footage out of that. And here's the trees. Let's uh, show you one at a time, actually. Right, let's put you over there for a moment. So this is a citadel woodland tree that I've converted to look somewhat like a certain tree from my favourite computer game, Doom. Yes, that tree from Doom. Uh, Finally got around to finishing painting this. Um, it's come out quite nicely. It's probably more interesting to see this in its pre-painted state, so you can see the uh, conversion work I've done on it. Yeah, uh, so this is the Doom-inspired tree. I've added um, little stubby branches here and there to it. This is almost finished, I think. Um, I might fill that knot hole there because it's quite distinct and looks the same as it does on the other tree I made using the same kit. Uh, might do a bit of work to uh, sort of roots around here. I've done a bit with green stuff, added a uh, knot hole there which is why I'm thinking of filling in that one anyway. Little stubby branches, 
It's little bits of um, detail work with green stuff. Got to do the base with um, filler or sand or something. I'll see what happens. So yeah, that's that's that. But um, here it is finished and uh, quite pleased with it. Uh, likewise, here's the other tree. This is a uh, trunk of some kind of toy tree that I do not know the source of. With uh, most of, well, most of, I think about two sort of woodland trees stuck to the top there to give it branches and make a much larger tree than the other trees I have. Here it is with a regular citadel woodland tree and Zelandoni for scale because he's a wood elf. Again quite pleased with how this came out. Um, particularly like the bracket fungus there. That looks good. Um, Sort of added uh, green stuff roots around the base there. I've added a little skull for detail, as I do often. I think that's a uh, skull from one of the Hero Quest bookcases there. And until this, you can see where I've joined the Citadel tree branches onto the toy tree trunk, if it'll stay in focus. Right, uh... There they are. That's about it for this vlog. No, it's not about it for this vlog. I have one more thing to show. And finally, and barely able to fit in the frame, here is a unpainted dragon ornament that Paul gave me recently, among some other stuff. Uh, a little bit of work and a bit of paint. This should make a rather large and rather nice dragon for my game. Let's, uh, let's bring something in for scale. Oh, who we Yep, well, we've still got uh, Zelandoni here. There we go. Well, that's how big it is. Well, uh, that's about it for now. So, uh, until next time, I need a goodbye catchphrase.